Yeah, that went crazy viral, man. I know in the last interview, you was talking about how, you know, it was a trans woman and Biggie's video, right. you know, hypnotized. And you wanted to address them comments, right? So, when last we spoke, um, we were talking about, you know, Biggie Smalls having some of the most suspect lines in hip hop. And that's still true, you know, and... There's actually another one that I forgot. We'll get back to that. But what I would want to clear up is um, in, in that interview, I started giving examples and I spoke about a transgender woman that was in Flavor in Your Ear and the warning video and was supposed to be dancing behind LL. Well, upon... Um, further investigation by sources that I trust, um, apparently that was totally a false rumor. That was not a transgender woman, that it was actually a woman and she is not dead and she is very much alive. Um, now, choke no joke is one of the last ones I heard. Uh, repeat that. Um, that rumor um so you might want to go talk to choke sorry choke <laughs> had to throw you under the bus um but he definitely was speaking on that sh like it was real and so i'm like damn yeah i have been hearing this sh for years and so then i came on here and said that sh well now i would like to come on here and correct myself because I have no problem as a man saying when I'm wrong. And if I was wrong about that, then pardon self. Um, now to me, that kind of, cause once I, that kind of takes a little shit off of LL to me, okay? Because to me, I'm thinking, okay, it's a, it's a transgender and now these lyrics you know, so I'm thinking, did he know? But now, if it's really a woman, now maybe I don't know what the lyrics meant now. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just saying maybe now we can extract LL out of that equation because, again, I don't know what he, she means and all this other sh Like, you know what I mean? Um, again, being around Puffy and suspect sh could get you pulled into some shit you don't want to be pulled into. But I'm just saying, like, because I, again, I said this in that interview too, but people won't hear that part, is that, you know, LL was one of my favorite rappers coming up, B. Like, you know what I mean? Like, bras used to, come on, like, bras used to think I looked like LL type of shit. If I put on a fucking Kango, you kidding me? So, um, I didn't want him to even be attached to this type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want L to be attached to that shit. Uh, so, that's why I'm happy. Like, oh, word? That really wasn't a tranny? Okay, cool, good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, to me, that's plus a plus on LL. It's still, though, it doesn't explain the Biggie lyrics. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't explain all the big, Biggie lyrics. And I'm sorry, you know... I was living in Brooklyn at the time and I know how much people love Big in Brooklyn and just in general in New York, you know. Um, it was a nostalgic time. But Big's, Big, sh you don't need no tranny in the video. Like, like, <laughs> like, okay, just one more big line that I'm gonna give you that. Goodness gracious, I don't know how anybody could say shit like this. Because my mind would just never think of this, right? He said, and this is on a great, on a song that we all love too. Fucking 10 Crack Commandments. 10 Crack Commandments. Your boy Big said, money and blood don't mix like two dicks and no bitch. Find yourself in serious sh Yikes. What? Nah. Nah. That's super nasty work. First of all, 
Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Two days. Even if there's a bitch there, why are we running a train on this woman? Why are we doing that? Why are two guys running a train on girls anyway? Why is that a, you know what I mean? Why is that a thing? Grown, grown man's doing shit like that. Like, that's kind of suspect, number one. That's not cool. Um, but okay. Let's just say y'all was running the train. But now the broad don't show up. Don't y'all just go home? <laughs> Wouldn't y'all just go home? Why would you find yourself in serious shit if there's no if there's no broad there? You see how sick that line is? So y'all are saying, and now Biggie's saying that if they was going to run a train and there was no girl, when then somebody's getting f One of y'all niggas is getting f and as And as they say these days, that's diabolical work. Diabolical. There's no coming back from that. And was Nick saying, like, because I don't think, I don't, I don't, I know that shit was not cool. And I wasn't saying it back then. I'm just wondering, was Nick saying that in the clubs while the shit was going on? It's the Ten Crack Commandments. What? Because that beat was hard. And come on, he's rhyming about selling crack. That's like, that's supposed to be some hard shit. But then you slip that shit in there, huh? That's your old boy, man. I mean, New York stand up. <laughs> Oh, sh listen, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of funny style, um, lyrics on all coasts. You know what I mean? If you think about it, got teeth in your mouth, so my dick's got to fit. Who are we talking to? Yeah, you was talking to Easy, but that was pretty gay. Yeah, that was a gay line. I'm just saying, it was a lot of that shit that was running rampant, if you really think about it, <laughs> in hip hop. A lot of suspect shit. So, damn, we can't just put it on, on, um, on Big, but Big had some bad, he had some bad ones, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of suspect shit. And trust me, there's going to be motherfuckers on the internet that's going to be like, you know what, let me find all the suspects. Y'all can go ahead and, and put your energy into that. I don't want to do it. Like, you know what I mean? I don't even want to, again, uh, have my mind trying to even think about that shit. Because that's a trick in its own self. 